Welcome to the Getting Comfortable with Camtasia Studio tutorial series. Camtasia Studio is the application that I use to do all of my tutorial videos. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a short tutorial video and go through all of the aspects and elements within the application so you feel comfortable when you're using it and you'll be able to make your own tutorial videos or use it to record your screen for any other purpose. So first let's go ahead and open up Camtasia Studio. If this is the first time you've ever opened Camtasia Studio, what you'll have here is this nice little welcome message from TechSmith. You can go ahead and pause it because it's probably automatically playing as soon as you open. Let's go ahead and take a look at this UI from the upper left on down. So first you have your typical menu where you have your file, your edit, view, play, tools, and what have you. Just below that, you have your option to record your screen, import additional media, or produce and share. Now, this is your clip bin. This is where all of your video, audio, images, any, any media that you insert into Camtasia Studio that you import, it's going to show up right here in this little window, and you can grab it and drag it down to your time bar down here. Off to the right of the clip bin, you're going to have your video content. Now this is the actual video content that you're looking at in your time slider. So if I move this time slider, you'll notice that this video is also moving. And just below the clip bin, we notice that we also have some other tabs here that we can click on. Now this is just a tab system. So if you take a look, you can find everything that's in your library. Now these are going to be mostly things that came directly shipped with Camtasia Studio. Just Little things that you can open up and you can click them and drag them into your timeline and make use of them. And then next that you have your callouts. Now callouts are pretty much like overlays. Like if I were to just take one of these and just overlay it, you can notice that it overlays. And I can grab it inside of this viewport and I can move it around. I can scale it. And then you can type little notes into it like hello. And you can format it, make it bold, large letters. Just little call outs that you can set up you know so if I were to go like that and hit it to 72 you'd be able to just do all kinds of things here you can also notice that it's on my timeline I can drag it over and I can scale it out make it fade in and out make it longer so if I were to come over to that and I wanted to call out here I can set that up and I can also make it no fill and we'll cover all this a little bit more in depth in the future you also have a zoom and pan option which allows you to set up like if you wanted a certain section of the video to zoom in you could zoom that in and zoom that out and of course you have an audio interface that allows you to set up your audio if your microphone recorded too loud you could scale it up scale it down and you'll notice that as soon as i went to the audio section in my timeline these little slider bars came up where i can set that up now there's also a lot of additional content where if i were to click this and highlight it now it's selected in the timeline i can come up here and i can enable noise removal i can turn the volume up down fade it in fade it out there's a whole lot of options that you can do here as well as volume leveling now one of my favorite aspects of Camtasia Studio is the transitions. Now transitions allow you, if you'll notice like from here to here I have two different clips. And if I wanted to create a transition going from one to another, I could just grab it, drag it, and you'll notice that it highlights on the bar below and I can release it. And if I were to click play, you'd notice that we have a nice little video transition going from one clip to the other. Now I know I'm throwing a lot at you right now, don't get worried. We're going to cover all this one step at a time whenever we actually make a short video tutorial. This is just an overview. And there's additional things you can do as well. You can add cursor effects, which changes your cursor size in the video. Notice it got much larger there. or I got it a lot smaller. You can also come down visual properties and change some scaling and some opacity. Again, I'm not going to get too much more into all of these things because there are just a lot of different options, a lot of different things you can do inside of Camtasia Studio. We're going to cover all this in depth as we go through this tutorial series. So if I go just below that, you'll notice that I have a zoom bar where I can zoom out or I can zoom into the timeline. And next to that, you have your undo and redo, which this also works if you just hit Control Z and Control Y will undo and redo content. You can cut stuff. You can split stuff for editing purposes. These are mostly used for editing content in the time bar. Now, this, of course, is your time slider. 
The time slider is what you use to navigate inside of the timeline. And of course you have your elements within the timeline. This is your actual video that you're producing. Now, if I select one, I would be able to modify each one. You can click on these, you can move them. It's really simple to navigate. And that's pretty much all there is to the Camtasia Studio interface. So in the next video, we're gonna take a look at how we can record a short video by using the record the screen button in the upper left-hand corner. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video at brainpoof.com.